My head was still in a fog after colliding with Felix in the hallway. I could not get that mysterious sounding music out of my head. It was driving me a little stir crazy. I looked in my refrigerator and noticed that I had no spinach left. I only had one egg left, so I decided to break my daily routine and make myself an egg and cheese sandwich on an English muffin. I sat down in my little space that I call a dining room, which is full of crates stacked upon each other, covered with a paisley sheet that I bought from a thrift store. While eating my sandwich, I began to hear those strange sounds again coming from outside my bedroom window at Tritone Park. This time I remained calm and collected. I figured it was not worth getting excited and hurting myself by running outside to meet these minstrels. So I finished up my sandwich and went to my leaky ceiling bathroom to see how this cut on my head was doing. The injury was just above my forehead. Even though it bled like crazy, it was not that big of a deal. I knew that I could manage cleaning and dressing it without going to the hospital. I had no health insurance. Going to the hospital is expensive. I had no savings account. I lived paycheck to paycheck. It worked out all right for me. For that time, if there was any emergency that would happen, oh, I would be in trouble. My family did not have any extra money to help me out. They both worked at caring children. It was a daycare service where the pay was not that good. We never really owned our own home. We always had to rent. When the landlord raised the rent, we had to find another place to live. Even though my family did not have much money, they made up for it, teaching me how to be a good person. They gave me a solid education. Hey, this is Stephen the Storyteller. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, there'll be a lot more content that I have that I think you'll like. I think there's something for everybody in, uh, in this um, artistic field. So thanks again for watching and have a wonderful life. Bye.